Nice to see you. Glad you're here. Glad I'm here. My Megs is also here. I am here, but I won't be interjecting too much. Oh, you need to interject a lot, Megs. I'll keep it. I'll keep it to the minimum. Hey, Megs. Would you rather have hair made with spaghetti or sweat maple syrup? Ugh. Maple syrup. For sure. Who likes spaghetti hair? I don't want noodles. And I don't like spaghetti and I do like maple syrup. And it's expensive, so if you could sweat it out, you'd save a lot of money. You could sweeten all of your own baked goods. I'd lick you all the time. Ugh. Am <laughs> I out here? Uh. Bumping up a chat. I don't think we have anybody here yet. Maybe say, okay. The chat has been popped out. And the blood leaf's here. Hey, welcome to you. Howdy doody, tutti pretty. All right. Hey, blood leaf, would you rather have hair made of spaghetti or sweat maple syrup? That's a question for the screen. That's my seat over there. Oh, there's my seat. Here I am. I'd like to know at what rate your spaghetti hair would grow. Like, could you grow it on a daily basis for meals? Or would it be... Oh, then you could grow? just feed yourself. Or would it grow at the rate of normal hair? Because if it did that, you'd only get like you know, nothing per day. You'd have to be like a monthly harvest. <laughs> I, that would be very little. And yeah, and how much? And would you like make yourself sweat so you could have the maple syrup? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I was sweating all the time. I had to bottle that maple syrup. I'm such a sweater. Yeah, that's why I don't like spaghetti because I don't like it to be like that. Like, I don't like it to be like that. Like, I don't like it to be like that. Like, I don't like it to be like that. Like, I don't like it to be like that. Like, I don't like it to be like that. Like, I don't like it to be like that. Like, I don't like it to be like that. Like, I don't like it to be like that. Like, I don't like it to be like that. Like, I don't like it to be like that. Like, I don't like it to be like that. Like, I don't like it to be like that. Like, I don't like it to be like that. Like, I don't like it to be like that. Like, I don't like it to be like that. Like, I don't like it to be like Welcome to you, Tay Tay. Glad you're here. I need to find. Oh, there it is. My wire tool. And also, I'm going to apologize in advance. I am very sniffly today and coughing and stuff. Do you just need to record that and put it on every stream? Like, yeah, I'm pretty much sniffly all the time. Yeah, ever since I started live streaming on YouTube, they've been cutting down trees near me, and my allergies have been so bad, but they're like especially bad today. Well, the I mean, the car is yellow. <laughs> Yeah, is bad. I was looking at the doorknob uh, earlier, and it was just yellow all the way across. Also, thanks for the it sub, Tay Tay. And thanks for that uh, congrats, Bloodleaf. Yeah, we hit 2K, 2K last night while I was getting my beauty sleep. Can't you tell? I'm nice and beautiful today. Not as beautiful as Meg's. She well gets, she must get a lot of beauty sleep because she is an absolute beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Bloodleaf says at least you'll smell good when you sweat too. Yeah. Indeed. You could sweat for your uh, sweat for a living. You just sweat and bottle it. Yeah, you know, just sweat, and bottle it, sell it. It's expensive, and I mean you could probably label it organic, so it'd be even more expensive. <laughs> It does seem kind of gross. <laughs> Bloodleaf says, I'm sick. So I'm a little man's with this Nana. Oh man, it's right, you're sick. Bloodleaf, time to go to work. Turns on treadmill. <laughs> I guess people would be more in shape. Uh, what you sick with? You got a cold or something, man? I do not like being sick. Whoa, almost dropped some clay on the floor. Being sick is not good, not ideal, but I'm happy to report today, at least, the heartburn. I've been having some heartburn. It seems to be clearing up. It seems to be getting better. Daily heartburn report. Daily GERD report. GERD seems better today. Thankful for that, although I am sniffly. I'm going to try to not clear my throat as much. because I noticed I was playing back last week's stream, um, and I noticed that I clear my throat all the time. Hey, if I clear my throat, <laughs> 
it makes me it makes me not want to. Do it makes like, me feel like you're you're trying to make me do something and I refuse. Do you like you need to do it now? Like, is it like a yawn? Is it contagious? <coughs> She's not gonna get me to do it. I refuse. <laughs> but as soon as I stop paying attention, I will. Blood leaf says, just like a scratchy throat, coughing a lot, but nothing else. So some kind of throat infection, most likely. A guard already makes me clear my throat a lot. Uh, I'd be an annoying on lives. Yeah, I've noticed I do that all the time. But I, I, mine, I feel like it's related to the allergies. Because uh, I'm really sniffly right now. And I have been sniffly ever since, basically since I started streaming on YouTube is when they start, started cutting those trees down. And yeah, I probably should go on some allergy medicine, but I don't like, I don't like taking medicine. I almost cleared my throat, but I stopped myself. Hey Megs, would you rather always smell like old cheese or only be able to smell old cheese? Well, if you smell like old cheese, wouldn't that be all you ever I'm so, really glad that you don't smell like old cheese. Yeah, you told me last time I smelled it. You told yep. me one of the things you liked about me. Was that I smell good? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how I feel about it. Megs does smell nice. Well, I have lotion and, and body spray. Does that make me sound creepy? Did I, did not, I, is it, not, well, because you're my husband, no. Otherwise, yes. So, just, I, don't, I don't go around just sniffing random people. Just my Megs. <laughs> Sniff me. That's <laughs> we'll see, or do I? No. Can you guys hear my Megs? All right. Bloodleaf asks, what are you making today? Regular mugs? Yes, regular mugs, but I'll make some special stuff too. Actually, I'm making show inventory, so it's a little more free form today. I can kind of just make what I want to make. Oh, you should take requests. I could, could take requests. Would you like to see me make something? If Except you, no plates. I hate plates. If you were at a show, but well, I, I might like make a plate for a planter. To buy. That, and then that's what you should make. Yeah. Does that make sense? Should I just make a bunch of eggs? Like pottery eggs? I think people I think there's a demand for those. Yes, Bloodleaf can re hear you loud and clear. Another thing that was cool, I had no idea. Um, last The last stream, Monday stream, was the biggest stream I've ever done. I think on any platform. I've never had that many views in one stream before. It was like uh, 1.2 or 1.4K. Either one of those would be bigger than any I've ever done, even when I was back back on Twitch. I had some raids back on Twitch, and there'd be maybe like five or 600 people, but they'd like dwindle really fast. And that wasn't like all at one time. I think the highest concurrence was like 25, something like that. But having 1.2 or 1.4, popping in during stream that's really good that's awesome progress setting new records that's what we're going for here so let's do more of that I'm still trying not to clear my throat <laughs> but I am sniffling every time you say clear your throat I'm going to do it Maybe I should just um, do one big clear every now and then. Get it out of here. One big sniffle. I'll get it off the camera and I'll sniff real loud. <laughs> <coughs> 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 Ew. Like okay. I'm good now. I'm good for a while. In a smoky room for five hours. I seen it in the smoky room. You know, that's I smell a smell of wine. And I can't hit that note. I used to be able to hit that note. Can't relate to that song now that smoking has been outlawed and all. Oh man, yeah, I miss smoking in places. I mean, like smelling smoke in places. What about you guys? I don't know. I'd probably get real tired of it real fast. I don't. But I get nostalgic for that sometimes. No, I don't. I always wanted to go outside and stop breathing all the smoke. I don't know. I was thinking of something <clears throat> I wanted you to make for me, and. Um, that would be a good thing to make for shows. I need to make some little bowls, little but succulent pots. Yeah, you do need to do that. But I can't remember what it was, but it was a good idea. What was it? <sighs> I don't remember. Hey, Megs, 
Would you rather have every movie spoiled for you or never be able to watch a movie more than oh, once? Oh, every movie spoiled. I can't stand not completing things. Oh. Never but you be. could never watch your favorite movie again. Wait, what was the two ways? Would you rather have every movie spoiled for you or never be able to watch a movie more than once? Oh, I thought you, were, I thought you said never be able to watch a movie to the end. I would rather have every movie spoiled for me. I, I really don't care that much about spoilers if it's spoiled. I don't know. I don't either really. But I usually look it up and figure it out anyway. It would make me sad to not be able to watch my favorite movies over again. Like Christmas movies. If I couldn't watch them over again, I would be really sad. Yeah, yeah. And like when I was younger, I don't watch TV so much anymore, but I used to watch movies to go to sleep. And I'd rewatch like Star Wars and Lord of the Rings. Uh, I got on a Braveheart kick for a little while. I watched it a whole bunch of times. Um, that movie's so bad. I guess Star Trek The Next Generation, but it's not really a movie. I watched it a lot. Uh, hey, hey, Samara Sunset. Welcome to you. How you doing today? I jumped the gun on that one. I misunderstood the question. So I'm going to go with number one. Movies be spoiled so yeah, that you can rewatch really them. Yeah, really would be yeah. really sad at Christmas time. I mean, I, I'd still be happy at Christmas If you Christmas. had to sacrifice one Christmas movie, which one would it be? I think like to never watch, watch again. There's, there's many that I would be okay with not watching again. Uh, <clears throat> Christmas vacation. Christmas Day. What about Polar Express? I'd sacrifice oh, I that one. That, that one's more like that the... Kind of weird. I don't like that <laughs> the, the, the people in it do look a little strange. This is gonna, that's an unpopular opinion type thing, but I think it's a little weird and I don't really like it. Charlie Brown. No, I like Charlie Brown. It has the true meaning of Christmas. It talks about the... It, you know, it I'm not wild about... The Bible and talks about Jesus. No, I love the Charlie Brown one, though. I wouldn't want to get rid of that one. And I love the Grinch. I thought the newest Grinch was pretty good. And I like all the <clears> classics. <throat> we don't watch every year anymore now that the kids are getting older, but I mean, I still, I still loved it and would watch them. Like Santa Claus is coming to town and, uh, you know, the, those claymation with Frosty, those little, not Frosty, but just, uh, uh, what's that other one? One of those claymation ones? Rudolph. Ru Rudolph? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I was drawing a blank on that one. Sunset says, I'm great. How are you? I am well. I'm very sniffly today. Disappointed about that. But other than that, feeling good. Um, how's the baby today? Oh, yeah. I forgot you said that. Well, Sunset's going to have a baby. Hello, Mira in UK. Hello. Nice to see you. Glad you're here. Welcome to you. Can you attempt an egg cup? If you still want to request. Okay, oh, what's an, an egg cup? What yeah, is an egg, egg cup? cup? That's like a European thing more so. You know, you put a hard boiled egg in the little cup. It's I have no idea what that is. For an egg. A pedestal for like, an egg? It, I'll have to show you a picture. Show me a picture. Okay. Probably. Okay. And Sunset says, I am making us some egg salad. Mmm. Sounds pretty that good. That must be why she thought it was an egg cup. No, well, it was blood leaked to ask oh, about the egg cup. Uh, she's kicking like she's ready to come out. She's got legs, or legs, less than four months. Oh. <laughs> hey, it was behind the heart. I was just trying to fill I in the remember blanks. Those. It's I like remember. a chalice, but it holds an egg. Okay. Yeah. Look, I'm gonna look it up and give you a little. Picture. So it's like small. Yeah, it's small. It would be just the size of holding an egg. Okay. Look at this. So here's some. Next is gonna show me. It's like a tiny goblet for an egg. I sure hope she has legs. Yeah, me too. Okay. okay. Can you see that? Yeah. All right. Can we make it bigger? No, I got this. Here. There. Well, you can even get them at Walmart. Look. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, well, I may there's have... some other styles. Like this one. Just guessing at the size it would need to end up. I mean, it would end up exactly the size of an egg. Here's a variety of vintage egg cups from around the world. Probably going to need less clay. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and you could do whatever you wanted at the base, you know, but basically, yeah, just a little chalice. That's the perfect description of it. You should make some little egg cups. I'm going to cut some clay yeah. off of this. 
because I got way too much. I actually have an egg cut for the house. I love a hard boiled egg. There you go, Bert. Give Bert a new necklace. He needs a necklace. <clears throat> she's got legs. Everything she's supposed to have. One healthy baby. Glad to hear it. And I remember those days of going to the appointments and oh, what was that? That one doctor, one like of the sonogram people was like, your daughter has weirdly short legs or something. And this could be a red, I don't know. She kind of freaked us out for a minute. Do you remember that? Yeah, it was like, it wasn't, I don't even think it was the doctor. I think it was the, the technician. It was the tech. Yeah. And, they, and it, it was fine. And the, but of course, Everything was fine. Ever since, ever after she told us that, we were like worried about it. Yeah. And of course, she's completely fine. <laughs> Her legs are completely worn up. But it was one of those things like, why would you tell that to a parent? Come on. What are you doing? I'm going to do one more after this with um, a little less clay. <clears throat> Mira says, pottery looks so satisfying. Lol. It is. It is a pretty satisfying thing. Sorry I just flipped you guys off. I used my other finger. Maybe you didn't see it. It was down in the egg cup. This one... First, this is my first ever egg cup. Let's see it. Are you proud of it? I mean, it's a little big. Hey, it's a little big. And I think it should come in, maybe come in a little more narrow. Well, I don't know. You say, we say it's big, but also it's going to shrink. Yeah, but it's you not know, going to shrink. It's smaller than the egg. It's not going to shrink that much. Uh, it could be for a large egg. It could be for a... Um, <coughs> oh, I cleared my throat before I thought about it. Slightly larger than a chicken egg. All right. It's not an egg cup. It's a burnt stand. I'm going to make him look at you guys. There. Perfect. It's a bird cup. <laughs> I approve. Oh my goodness, Chad. Uh, uh, there, Bert. There. Someone Makes it so he can hold his legs up. There we go. Oh, someone <laughs> needs to rein you in with that bird. Uh, bird cup. I'm sometimes embarrassed by your bird. Uh, my bird embarrasses my Megs. So glad I'm glad I chose something new for you. Hey, thanks. Yeah, I'm gonna make one more, but I'm gonna make it smaller. I had too much clay for it. Just got her ultrasound videos and pictures. She's the size of a Pokemon card right now. That's a tiny baby. Pokemon. I had a thought this morning while I was eating some breakfast. I wondered which of Nintendo's IPs, their intellectual property, is the most valuable. I wonder if it's Mario. I was kind of thinking it's probably Pokemon. I was going to look that up. Anybody know the answer to that? I can't Google it. I got dirty. I got dirty hands. I'm going to see if I can make a better Burke cup. You think those would be popular at the show, Megs? Not 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 a Burke cup, but I think an egg cup would. This girl was measuring ahead. I got an appointment on the 11th. It's coming up. I have the uh, White Stripe song stuck in my head. What put that in there? I have no idea. Could be worse songs to have stuck in your head. Okay. Next question. Would you rather sneeze confetti or have your tears be ketchup? Oh, confetti all the way. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, definitely confetti fine. for me as well. And having confetti would make it even more satisfying. All right. It'd be better than, I mean, if you're sneezing confetti, you're probably not sneezing snot. So it sounds like a win to me. All right, here is the egg cup that's going to be a better egg cup. This is more, going to be more the right size. Let me see that thing. Oh, he's cute. It's like a little trophy. Our 
eggs not super popular because if they are, maybe you need to make them. I don't feel like I could charge enough to make these worth making. How much do people pay for egg cups? It seems tiny. Well, it didn't take you very long to make. True, but I might want to put a little face on it. Well, then it would be a value-added thing if you charge more for it. I think. I'm kind of just eyeballing it, but I think that'll shrink to about the, the right size for an egg. Depends on your egg, I guess. Little egg cup. <clears throat> a seven nation army couldn't hold me back. Uh, I like how you already got it down. It's literally perfect. I don't know. I'm sure it could be better in some way. Makes me want an egg. I already had two eggs at lunch. You had two eggs at lunch? I did. Oh, yeah, you had the flat egg. Yeah. Lunch was delicious. I wish I could have a second lunch. You're 40 years old. You can have second lunch if you want second lunch. <clears throat> if I had second lunch, it would hurt me. All right, I like that one. I like the burnt cup and I like the egg cup. Try it out. <clears throat> now I went, I cleared my throat again. That was the third time. No. All right. Let us make some little succulent planters. They're basically just little bowls. <clears throat> Sunset set. I did it again. Sorry, had to take the eggs off the stove. No worries. Hey. Don't burn the eggs. This is just the egg themed stream right here. All about the eggs. Hey, you should make a pottery egg. Speaking of. Make it make a an egg out of pottery. Did, were you saying that? I could. Make a little egg. Were you not I can saying make an that? egg were to put not, in my egg cup. Were you not talking about making the pottery eggs earlier? I was. What is that even? It's just an egg made like on the pottery wheel. Why what would you do with that? Just to say that you did it. What would someone who bought it do with it? Sit it, sit it somewhere? Uh, function? They'd put it with their G.I. Joe action figure. So it's a decorative thing. Decorative egg. I'll make a tiny egg. I could make a tiny egg to put in my tiny egg cup. I haven't tried to make an egg in a long time. But after I make this, I, actually, I gotta make some stuff for my ship. You know, going along the egg cup theme though, it might be cute if you gave some of your succulent pots little pedestals. If, if, if they were... Oh yeah, that'd be cool. You know what I mean? Like, a little chalice almost, but for succulents. Alrighty. A cake stand. Cake stand. Oh, that'd be hard. I've never made one of those before. Be hard because you have to get it level. I, I can make a cake stand. I you would just you. make it upside down. I, I, I challenge you to a cake stand. Meg's challenged me. She wants me to make a cake stand. And I want it to be beautiful. I've never made a cake stand. And functional. I guarantee you I can make a cake stand. I, can you? Can you? Can. If we already had second lunch, you'd have to have second workout. <laughs> Indeed. Is the challenge accepted? Yeah, I'll make a cake stand. Okay. I'm gonna have to get more clay than I've got. All right, there's my egg. But it's a little flat on the bottom. I meant to be able to trim it more, but here you go, Bert. You hold that egg. Uh, Bloodly says, yeah, upside down is the way to go with that. Indeed, I don't need a second bat. All right, I guess I can just 
plop pieces of clay together. Let me see if I got some clay sitting there. And how much would I need is a question. Well, you don't need a big enough hole, at least an eight inch head. And that means it's gotta be like 10 inches because you want a little bit on the outside. Maybe. So I need to go all the way to the edge of my bat. Okay. I'm gonna, I had this clay in a, uh, just in a bag. It's probably maybe five pounds, like that. So we're gonna see what five pounds does. It might be a short cake stand. But I think it'll work. Not like there's any particular height the cake stand has to be. It's a little bit stiff. Uh, oh, Bert fell over. You could do a candle um, candle holder, like like a pedestal for a candle. I think that's what I was thinking about. Thinking of cake stands, a candle pedestal. Mm. You know, that's flat on top and put a pillar candle on. Like basically a candlestick with a flat top to put a big pillar candle on? Yeah. Yeah, that is what I'm talking about. Would you do that upside down? Uh, yeah, probably. Well, I think that's what you could make next. I'm just going to put you on. <laughs> Megan's just going to challenge me today. Now after this, I'm going to make some planters because I know that I'll sell planters. Challenge. <clears throat> like challenging. Would you rather have your voice sound like Elmo or Kermit the Frog? Kermit the Frog. 100%. He's more manly. You mean, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know that I'd say more manly. Just you don't manly. think Kermit the Frog is more manly than Elmo? I think he's less unmanly. Mr. Noodle! I wouldn't describe either one as manly. Kermit the uh, Frog here. Kermit does have a girlfriend, after all. Kermit does have a girlfriend. <sighs> At least I think so, right? Isn't Miss Piggy his girlfriend? I think Kermit the Frog has Miss Piggy in the friend zone. I thought it was his girlfriend. She thinks that she's his girlfriend. Oh, she has a girlfriend. <clears throat> he doesn't. Really ah, clear my throat again. All right, so we're gonna leave a nice hump there for the stand portion. And I think this is just enough to scooch out all the way to the edge of the bat. I actually wish that I could watch this stream right now because I was like watching you do this. You could turn around and watch me oh, live. I'm busy working. <laughs> First ever cake stand. All righty. And That'll work. That'll do. And really, I think you gotta get a lot of compression right there where it joins. It'll be a spot that will be prone to crackage. <clears throat> Clear my throat again. Video challenge, making a vase on the pottery wheel upside down. Oh, I saw a cool video yesterday. Uh, my buddy Potter sent it to me. Uh, this guy, this potter made a vase inside of a vase. Oh. Like he threw, the, threw it at the same time. Like and then he cut section. the outside vase so that you could see into the other one. It was very cool. Thought that'd be a very cool challenge. Super impressive. feel like probably do need to go ahead and trim a little bit here so our wire will go in there clean all right and now we'll do the stand
Nemesis each other. <clears throat> Do it then. Tag the original creator. Show a four second clip of his, then you doing yours. Get that crossover fan base. Yeah, man. Should. Uh, the long form video I'm posting today at about two o'clock, I'm doing something that I've never really done before. Either I'm doing a, uh, a pedestal bowl. And I think ideally, I'd probably have brought a little more clay with me uh, and make this thicker. So this would be less fragile. Um, I mean, cake stands are, are pretty fragile to begin with. And tippy, we've learned. And they can be tippy. Um, but... Because I tipped my sister's birthday. There. There's your cake stand. Hey, that's pretty cool, actually. I'm impressed. Did you doubt me? Never. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sniffly. I'm gonna see it inverted. But yeah, I gotta let it dry for a little bit before I invert it. Have to be patient and wait. You have to be patient or it will be ruined. But I'll try to remember to post a community post, a picture of it, once I get it trimmed. Where is my rib tool there it is hiding underneath everything else chad can do anything clay can do almost poked that in the wrong spot probably the hardest thing i've done lately is like the single throw taller goblets those are still pretty challenging for me I'm really curious to see that flipped over. I mean, I'm gonna wanna cut it off early. All right. Now, let's get some stuff done for the show. Time for little succulent planters. Here, sit back up, Bert. Bert fell over. He's got a olive oil spout. Here, he'll hold the egg. <laughs> It's too heavy for him. He can't hold it up. All right, let's do another would you rather question. Are you ready, Megs? Always. Nose is itching. Uh, I'm decided for sure on Kermit the Frog. What about you on the last one? Voice sound like Elmo or Kermit the Frog? Kermit. Would you rather your voice sound like Batman or Bane? Batman or Bane? Bane. <laughs> One night me and Mix, uh, right after that movie came out, we watched it and we laid in bed talking back and forth. I was Batman and she was Bane. We laughed a lot. Because that is what that's you us. do when you've been buried as long as we have. Oh, that's what we do. We do that every now and then. Uh, we laid in bed trying to whistle different tunes, remember? <sighs> and, and yeah. We were trying to whistle Andy Griffith and all kinds of different like, TV. So, yeah. yeah. Are you guys good whistlers? Question for the stream. My whistling ability has decreased lately. I don't know if it's because I just haven't done it much, or, but sometimes I can't whistle, and I used to be a really good whistler. Yeah. Maybe it's my voice that I don't know. Bloodleaf says, I can do both, both Kermit and Elmo voice, and based on which one, that's behind the heart. Uh, harder, I'd rather have a Kermit voice. Oh, there is this streamer, or not streamer, this guy, a musician on Instagram that I follow, and he covers songs as Eric Cartman from South Park, and he's pretty entertaining. I wish I could remember the guy's name. I, I'll try to remember to post him in Discord later, but it cracks me up. Actually, the first ever episode of South Park I saw was. I remember watching it with one of my friends, and uh, it was the episode where Cartman can't listen to Come Sail Away 
without finishing the entire song and he has to like sing it sing it the end of it and we thought that was like the funniest thing ever but I, I find Cartman singing songs to be endlessly entertaining <clears throat> Bloodleaf says I'll post my whistle in discord I can roll my whistle oh what is rolling your whistle like rolling your R's <laughs> I don't know how that works. What you do? I was trying to roll at no, the same time as whistling. I don't think that's what that means. I don't know. What does it mean then? I don't know. We call that. I'm making a mug because I went into automatic mode. <laughs> I'm supposed to be making planners, man. Here, I'll just take it out wide and I'll cut a hole in it. And this will be a medium planter not a succulent planter that's what we'll do we'll pretend like i meant to do that don't tell anybody Shh. Bloodleaf says yes exactly well, well I'm wrong. i'm gonna learn something new and i will practice i'll be in here like at the pottery wheel practicing that for like a week trying to figure out how to do it would you rather only be able to hop on one foot or have to walk backward everywhere one foot everywhere or backward everywhere? I feel like you would get very uneven if it was one foot, unless you could do one foot at a time and swap feet. Swap feet? Yeah. If you can swap hop, then I would do walking. But if you can't swap hop, I would probably say backwards because I wouldn't want to be imbalanced that much. Hey, that knees over toes guy on uh, Instagram, he recommends doing some backwards walking. Well, backwards walking is good for you, good for your knees. So it may be better to do that. Maybe backwards walking is the answer then. Uh, would you rather? Oh, I'll show you guys the inside of this because I cut, so I cut a little drainage hole. I'm gonna come over here and sniffle a little bit and cough. <coughs> oh, my nose is itching so bad. I feel like I need to sneeze, but it just won't come. <laughs> That's the worst feeling. I know. Uh, I may have to break down and go on some allergy medicine this year. I don't typically have to do that, but. Well, I've heard a lot of people have had worse allergies this year, so we'll be in good company. Yeah. I've had like legit runny nose. I know that's gross. Sorry, guys. Hope I can't contagio you over the tubes. Because the internet's a series of tubes. That's meme level like 1990 right there. understand no one can understand what the internet is really what what is the internet according to Megs <laughs> <laughs> actually I'm going to split this do you want to define it yeah define the internet okay like if I'm explaining the internet to someone that's never heard of it before yeah how do you explain the internet to someone who has no clue what the internet is okay are we assuming they know what like satellites are because I think that has to do with the internet do you have to use satellites yeah. to describe what the internet yes, is that's how it works is it not no it's a series of tubes no it's satellite signals right if i was to explain the internet i would say it is this way of connecting information from one computer to another that you use satellites to relay it back and forth and that is how it works. <laughs> is that correct? <laughs> I like that's correct. It works for me. Bloodleaf says you can explain how the internet works. That's easy, but why it works is the problem. Is that how it works? Does it use satellites? The internet's just a, a network okay. of computers. They that's how I would satellites. describe it. But what do you mean by network? They're not plugged into each other. They have to use Network means that they are somehow connected to one another. Connected how? With what? By what means? Satellites? Well, I mean, here, our, we have cable. It is connected so our to their servers via fiber optic cable. Okay, but then what are their servers connected to? How other servers? other servers, like the internet is basically Wait, just... Is it really 
Well, it's both. It's it's both wires and wireless. I mean, wireless uses satellite, right? It's just data Wait, transmitted wireless, between systems. Does wireless use satellite? Does wireless internet use satellite? Uh, or towers. But do the towers use or satellites? Or antennas. At some point, yeah. Okay, so wireless internet does use satellites, but wired internet does not. But it's got to be wired to another thing, and then a server, and then what's the server wired to? How does the server get the information? From a satellite, right? Well, the, you know, at the at the end point, the server contains the data of the, of the website. Or well, and most of the time, so like. For example, Amazon Amazon has web services and they host websites. They like keep Well, how does our how does how does our computer get all of Amazon's information? Through what means? The through wire? Yeah, through basically well, directly to Amazon's computer. No, but well, sec how? circuitously. What do you mean? Blood <laughs> <laughs> Leaf says so they're connected. Uh, so they're connected through wires. When you get internet put in your house, they run wires into your home that connect yeah. to bigger compounds of supercomputers. Yeah. It's just it's all connected. I just thought I just thought my mind can't wrap itself around. That. It's a series of tubes. Like I said, like Al Gore said, what was that in like 2000? He was trying to explain what the internet is. I feel That's like the best way to describe it. A series of tubes. I just. <clears throat> So clear my throat. Sometimes I wish we didn't have the internet, and sometimes I'm glad for it. Yeah, I'm the same way. I got a love-hate relationship with the internet. Uh, would you rather have a permanent clown face or a permanent clown outfit? Outfit, for sure. I would much rather my face not be a clown face. <laughs> I mean, the outfit's just clothes, but your face If I had on a permanent face. clown outfit, it would be a, a permanent dirty clown outfit. I'd have it filthy all the time. It may be better. It'd probably be more hygienic for me. So, per, by permanent, that means, like, you have to wear it around all the time. No, like I always. think you could wash it. I don't think there would be some well, way to No, it. permanent means always. So, so you're thinking permanent as in like when you get home, you, you know, you cook off your clown shoes and your or your clown outfit, or you wash off your clown makeup. No, I was actually thinking permanent as in when you take one off, another one magically appears. You're never without it, but you can wash it. You can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I mean, you could wash yourself with the outfit on and and or the makeup on and just stay on there. So That's I guess true. you could get you it clean. Shower yourself and not shower your clothes. Good point. But then you need wet clothes. I feel like the clown suit would probably get in the way. What if you went to the beach to go swimming and you could, you couldn't wear a swimsuit, you gotta wear a clown suit. And I would rather be at the beach with clown makeup in a bathing suit than with my own face in a clown suit. You'd still be hot. If you just had the swimsuit on with the clown makeup. He would look ridiculous. <laughs> but you would be it would be much more functional. Alright, question for you, Megs. Would you rather me always be wearing a clown suit or a clown makeup? If you were choosing for me. I'm going to say suit because, you know, I can still like kiss you and snuggle you. I just cover your body with a blanket. You wouldn't just kiss me on the tip of my red clown nose? No, but like I would just cover you with a blanket up to your face and then I could just kiss you <laughs> and pretend like everything was normal. But, but you could put a paper bag over my head if I was in clown makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to answer that question for you. Hey, Clanthus, how you doing? Welcome to you. Warm welcome to you. Well, I mean, it's kind of like, remember when you shaved your head bald? <clears throat> it was like, there was no getting around that, you know what I mean? You wanted like, to cover my head up? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. It would just like, we'd be in bed, we'd be, you know, sleeping, and I'd roll over, and it'd just be like, your big bald head, and it was just... You're white, big... white. You're in it because you were tan everywhere else. Remember that? Mm, yeah. Because you had just gotten back from the beach. So, my, your whole life. Me, I can't remember tan. who proposed it, but one, either me or my brother-in-law, we one or the other of us dared the other one to shave their head, and we did. We well, 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 my sister-in-law and I were <coughs> not there to oppose it. Yeah. But when we got back, it was like it had been done. It's all fun and games until his pocket flower gets the blanket wet. It's <laughs> an <laughs> innuendo, man. All right. Next question. Would you rather have hands that kept growing as you got older or feet that kept growing? Don't your feet keep growing as you get older? Because my shoe size has gone up. Your ears do. Your, I think your feet do, especially after you get pregnant. I my feet have not grown. My feet have stayed the same. Well, I think maybe it's a pregnancy thing then, but... <clears throat> Luigi Ponti, welcome to you. Can you give what me a shout out? Is... It's my birthday in three days. Hey, happy birthday. Glad you're here. Welcome to you. Glad you're here on your almost hey, birthday. You made a cake I did. I make a, made a cake stand. Yeah. And that cake stand can be in honor of you. And, and Bird also says, Happy birthday. Oh, my word. With the bird. Yes. Yeah. Start it with the bird. <laughs> Could make Bert spin. Put Bert in the light yeah. cup and stop it. All right, Bert is going to sing happy birthday to you oh. as he spins. This is your birthday song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Luigi. Happy birthday to you. Chad, I'm embarrassed. Right? Whoa! He's going faster than he's ever gone before. He always flies off. There he I actually had to get out of the way because I was like, he's going to go flying. He's going to hurt somebody, namely me. I'm not putting Meg's eye out. I'm not close I didn't even realize that could be misconstrued as innuendo. <laughs> it makes it even funnier now. Ah, that's, that's where I thought you were going with that. And Luigi says, thank you. You got a birthday Bert spin. Probably yeah. the best gift that you have ever received. You are welcome. My good man. You need to put a disclaimer on there. Something. Bird spin! Some kind of explanation for him because it's weird. Maybe that should be the reward for Bert points. If, if you get enough Bert points, you can request a Bert spin. No, you should do like you spin Bert, and what he lands on is your prize. Oh, and yeah. You spinning wheel with the prize. We could, it, could call it Spin the Birdle. <laughs> oh, <my word. laughs> I knew Megan would scoff at that. That's why I said it. Spin the birdle. But you could. You could spin it, and then what he landed on is what you get. I kind of like putting the names of, like, maybe start writing the Burt points on the wall behind me. Oh, yeah. You need to get that 
that posted up there for sure. You just have the Burt Point leaderboard. Yeah. <clears throat> Birthday Burt Spin. That's actually a hilarious way to choose. Indeed. Hey, Smart Sunset says, I'm a chef who wants egg salad. Well, yeah, egg okay. salad. Egg salad's pretty good. Tater salad's pretty good. And chicken salad's pretty good. Like the salad. Deviled eggs. You guys not, like deviled eggs? No. no. Had some pretty tasty deviled eggs over the weekend. Um, ate entirely too much last weekend. All right, we have four uh, succulent bowls. Now we're going to make larger planters. Sunset says, Ugh. it's like a little sick emoji. I guess you don't like deviled eggs? I don't either. I'm gonna do on that. I don't like potatoes. Bloodleaf says, I tear them up. Yeah, man. They're good. My sister-in-law messed her tooth up with the deviled egg over the weekend. Well, to be fair, she messes her tooth up with almost everything she eats. True, true. I mean, She's like cracked a tooth. And it just she bit down and like her top tooth hit her bottom tooth in a weird way and it her, chipped it. And her top tooth hit her bottom retainer. Yeah. Her braces. She was like, went down like that. And it just chipped the retainer and the tooth. She's chipped. <clears throat> she chipped her tooth on those. Um, we got the beans and she chipped it on uh, uh, those, that fried dough stuff. Oh, that funnel no fries. Uh, funnel fries. Funnel fries. Yeah. Please enter a name, it says. I've always wanted to do pottery. Well, you should. You should take a class somewhere. Sunset says, ouch. Yes, I do not like things happening to my teeth. I do not like the dentist. It is, in fact, the worst. The dentist? Is that, are you saying that? Or you I am saying that. The no, dentist the is dentist awful. Is it the worst? It is the worst. No, it's not. I hate the dentist so much. Well, I like the dentist because if we didn't have the dentist, we would just be rotten. We'd all just have rotten teeth, probably. True. People live a lot longer now that we have dental care and having teeth is nice uh, all right next question would you rather only be able to communicate in movie quotes or sing everything you say chad you already have to communicate in movie quotes anyway i also sing a lot true that's true you do both of those both things i think i'd rather sing everything i say then you'll feel like you're in a musical and that'd be cheerful I'm making a mug. I'm making a mug and I meant to make a planter. So I'm gonna stretch it out and do it again. Turn into a planter. <laughs> and that's, when, that's the point when everybody leaves the stream. Everybody click clicks out. They nope out of here. You didn't uh, see it. Uh, oh, that's the point where everybody decides to leave the stream. Hello, Ellie Larson. Hi, do you want to be my friend? Is what she says. Yes, we can be friends. You might want to explain yourself. <laughs> I'm not going to explain why I'm singing everything I say because I'd love for people to come in and receive this out of context. Also wonder why I have a little half naked man. I don't even know what kind of signals you're sending right now. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know what to feel. Uh, sorry. Sorry, Ellie, that you had to come into that. I hope you decided to stay. If not but you don't blame her if she didn't. I, I don't I don't blame you at all. We're welcome to you. Glad you're here. Bloodleaf says, if someone was to start making pottery like you, what's one of the best pieces of advice you wish you were told when starting for any aspiring potters out there? Now, perseverance. Pottery is hard when you start out, but it also clicks. It's like once you figure out how to ride a bike, that centering, once you get that centering down, it clicks and it gets infinitely better from there. So keep at it, keep practicing and you'll get there. That's probably the best. Uh, let's see, can you give me another shout out? Shout out Luigi. Happy birthday, Luigi. And, you know, I'd rather sing everything. Yeah, Bloodleaf's an awesome singer. Have I showed you Bloodleaf's songs yet, Megs? No. Hey, you guys should check out check out Bloodleaf's channel. He's got a channel. <clears throat> hey, Smart Sunset says, you remind me of someone, but I can't think of who. Personality-wise, you, 
you can remind me of Jack Black sometimes. Jack Black. Nice. Yeah. I'll take it. But looks wise, uh, not. Bloodleaf says he reminds you of Laser Beam. Laser Beam that is the YouTuber I showed you the other day, Max. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Really and... Good. Sunset says, I feel bad for your wife, but you know she loves you. Uh -huh. I probably missed, lost the context on that one. I feel bad for her sometimes, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please enter her name. Says, bet. I feel uh, like I'm pretty, pretty blessed. I, I'm pretty satisfied with my decision. Oh. I think I did a good job. Did you hear that, guys? My wife is satisfied. I find him to be adequate. Completely. <laughs> Would you say adequate? One on a scale of one to ten, am I adequate? Is ten adequate? <clears throat> no, adequate is adequate. Well, on a scale of one to ten, you're an eleven. That's what I have to say. <coughs> That's a required response. High praise, it, guys. I really do think that, though. I think you're a twelve. I think you're thirteen. I think you're a twelve out of three. I think you are on one hundred <laughs> out of five stars. <laughs> I think you're a two thumbs up out of ten. I feel like that's down downgraded. I actually don't feel good about that. <laughs> You're six stars out of a thumbs up. I don't, six, so, six stars sounds like not good. I, I don't. Hi, feel Daniel. Like welcome to you, Daniel. Hi, I'm Daniel from Argentina. Warm welcome to you. Glad you're here. A Smart Sunset says, that's all that matters. Indeed, being married is cool. All right, I'm making a little plate. This is a rarity for me. I hate making plates, but I don't mind making these tiny plates. Bloody says, also I make multiple genres, remixes, covers, originals, hip hop, rap, EDM, electronic dance music is what that means, I think. Oh, I didn't know what that means. Sunset says, has your wife done anything on the wheel? She's tried it. Uh, and she can, she can potterize a little bit. It would be very inefficient for her yeah. to do the pottery wheel. Because, like, right now... But she's glazing. very... She's better at glazing than I am and as far as efficiency. My makes is a very... I pack the orders and I do the shipping and the website work and stuff like that. So... Random, but have you and your wife done, like, those romantic pottery scenes from movies where the guy is guiding her hands from behind? <laughs> I'm a we woman. In case that sounds extra weird coming from a man... <laughs> We have like recreated it for social media posts and we, stuff. Yeah, because um, because everyone asks if it's like ghosts. Is is yeah. having a party studio together like ghosts? Yeah. It's not. But we but we did do a picture like it was. She's just a master painter. She doesn't need to do the pottery. Megs is a fantastically talented artist. Actually, she's yeah. very good at drawing, painting. And the, the, she has a crazy ability for the two-dimensional. She's very good at it. I don't think I have a crazy ability, but I'm definitely better at it than I am she's with, crazy the, ability. Yeah, she's with 3D stuff, for sure. Uh, I'm going to go scroll. Yeah, I can't get that one. I'm going to go scroll down on our Would You Rather list real quick, like, and sniffle a bunch. Get the throat clears out. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like you've been working in, like, a... Uh, I'm getting in a bunch. Old-fashioned cold factory or something. Oh, man. The allergies are so bad. I promise I'm not getting sick. I don't feel like I'm getting sick. You know, they say you can eat local honey in order to... <sighs> I need some local honey. Honey. Oh, honey. 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 Uh, Madhu, welcome to you. Were you here yesterday? Is this your second time? Welcome back to you, if so. Do you teach pottery online? This is as close to teaching online as I do. Also, my long form videos, I've done a few like little tutorials, but I haven't been posting videos on YouTube for very long. Yeah. Perhaps oh I God, will at some point if people oh request. Also, if you have a question, a pottery question while I'm live streaming, feel free. Uh, I've already done a few little demo throws. I made a cake stand earlier and I did an egg earlier and an egg cup earlier. Uh, Bloody says, thanks. Please enter a name. I appreciate you. My chaotic switch between genres makes listening weird, but I hope you like it. 
Uh, and please, I, I missed that. Please enter name. Yeah, y'all check out Bloodleaf. Please enter name's gonna do it. Uh, totally missed that one. And then Galastop. Great job. Uh, look at those in ancient Greek form. Really interesting. Not only making it, but also looking at it. I'll have to look that up. Um, if you want to join the Discord and like uh, pop up a picture of it, I'd be glad to try it. Uh, well, they said, sure, look out for comments on your vids. That'd be amazing. You should make some shorts giving tips for potters as a side series. I like that idea. Should do that. And please enter a name, says, do you and your wife make pottery and paint daily? Pretty much. Pretty much daily. Sorry, I got I behind on chat there. I don't paint daily. Um, we, we, the, the, the studio is our full-time job. That's yes. I mean, that's kind of what I assumed the question was. This is our full-time gig, both both of us. Um, Meg's, she kind of like bounces between glazing and packing orders and office work. And, and and yeah, and she she takes the kids to school and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, she's the and and bring and art classes when we do them. Yeah. Teach classes, kids classes and such. This is going to be kind of a smaller planter. Please enter name says, "Oh, okay, that's really cool and inspiring. Hey, thank you." It took us a while to get to this point of just basically making stuff and selling it. That's our jam now. But before that, when we started the studio, we taught art classes for adults and kids. And then... Did a lot of art shows. Did, did shows. And then eventually, we built up enough wholesale clients and did enough online sales like on Etsy to just go full-time making stuff. And so... That's what we do now. We've thought about getting back into classes and workshops, but as it is, the we gotta do some figuring out as far as like, well, how are we gonna make all the things and do the classes and workshops? Because I already uh, get to work, pretty much get to work at about 4, 4.30. I rolled up a little late today, at like 4.45, but typically I'm here by 4.30, and then work till about five, and that's, it takes that time to keep up. Although you do take time to usually take time for a workout and lunch. Yeah, there's that that too. Yeah, I'll take about an hour or so for a workout and lunch, hour and a half sometimes. Uh, let's see. Bloodleaf says, "I wish my full-time job was creatively as creatively driven as yours." Well, I mean, you just set the goals and work towards it, and I, I think. Perseverance, I think is what that's kind of what they say. Like if you you know have the perseverance, that's uh I mean that's you just gotta try. You gotta try to do it. That'd be the only way to get there. Yeah, but not everyone, you have to admit too, not everyone's in a position that's true. Where they can. Like when we that's true. started the studio, we didn't have kids and we had several years before we had kids. Yeah. We had kids that we built the studio up. That is true. If, and I don't think I would feel as confident doing that. With kids, because you feel the responsibility. Absolutely. Of an income. So if we yeah. were in a position when we began it that was a place in our life where, hey, we didn't have to make a lot of money, so it was just the two of us. You know. Yes, and if we had had kids already, I probably wouldn't be here doing this. It Honestly, been, it, would've it would've been, been a lot more of a struggle, and it would've come along slower for sure. Yeah, it would've been slower. A slower uh, Same, would've I guess. Willing to take less risk. Teamwork really does make the dream work, huh? It certainly has been crucial to our business, I think, that both of us work together because our personalities are different. Well, my, my, my degree was business. And Megan, so. yeah, she's a business-minded person, and I'm not. <laughs> so, uh, Bloodleaf says, so when you sell bulk to stores, what's your margins for profit? Not exact numbers, but like you make 100% profit back or less. Um, that's hard to it's it's hard. It, the most, the majority of what goes into pottery for me is the labor. The labor is the bottleneck. That's the expensive part. Uh, materials are not, not too bad. Too bad. If, especially if you buy, like I buy 2,000 pounds of clay at a time. 
Um, so as far as that kind of thing, you know, the materials are not that expensive and power bill, not, I mean, it's not really by the time you divide it all out, it's not bad. Um, please enter a name says, Oh, wow. Thanks for the backstory. It actually is inspiring to see how you've come up. You know, Every now and then I'm like taken aback by the fact that I'm actually here doing this. I'm like, how did I even get here? What? What? How did this happen? Uh, Ludley says the studio I want to open is a recording one. Just not enough people around my area who need a music studio. So you'd like to open something and help people like master music and stuff like that? All right, they need to like help people get their music recorded and put out there. Yeah. Like, I had a band in high school and we went to, it was basically just a dude that did it on the side and he, we recorded a, a few tracks and he mastered it. My donut says, hi, hi, donut. I love donuts. I'm glad you're here. I think if that was the route you wanted to go, I would have, kind of like we did, like offer music classes and different courses and do the recording thing on the side until it gets build up more. Yeah. That's what I would say. But they probably already thought of that. Yeah, teaching is a great way to get any kind of thing off the ground. Uh, Bloodleaf says, yes, I'm mainly a producer. I want to help others get music uh, online. I'm thinking, I'm, it's behind the heart. Out there. I'm already working with four people right now. Sounds like oh, you're on the, cool. on the track. Uh -huh. Have you been connecting with people like online to help get their music going? Please enter name. Your relationship seems pretty healthy. What's y'all's secret? And how'd you guys meet? Well, thank you. I, I like to think it's pretty healthy. It's usually healthy. Mostly. <laughs> it's mostly healthy. Mostly. Uh, we actually met through um, EverQuest. No, we did not. <laughs> what is that? I don't, that's ridiculous. So, that's not true. No, I was really good friends with her brother. And then we met, we, we my sister-in-law asked me out for me. You skipped a Megan. lot of information. You skipped <laughs> so much information. We knew, we knew each other in high school. When you started being friends with my brother, your senior year of high school, and I was a sophomore. Right? We were playing EverQuest together. You and, and my brother, brother. Mm -hmm. not me. No. But, so anyway... I think Megan probably didn't know anything about the EverQuest, and, no. and that's a good thing. Of course I didn't. I, she I, just thought I was like this cool I did think you were rock really star cool. guy. Well, you played the guitar, and <laughs> you Everquest. were just cool. Loaded. I liked you. But remember when we first met, you actually had a girlfriend? <laughs> yes. So we were just friends to begin with, and we would walk together like our last class of the day. You had to cross the hallway for me. You would like take your time getting ready to go because that teacher would let you out early. And then I, my teacher across the hall would keep you until the last minute. So I was always rushing to get ready so that we would just like meet coincidentally in meet in the hallway. Yep. Checks out. Where we would walk together until we met your girlfriend at the end of the hallway. <laughs> but then eventually after you guys broke up and all that we did we did start dating yep yeah and my sister-in-law did ask you out for me on on uh messenger <laughs> on aol messenger. our relationship began on aol instant messenger because she was chatting with you about something or another and i was like tell him i like it no don't tell him tell him and finally she was like okay i'll just tell him and you were so vague you were vague. like I, was play, I played it cool. I think you were like, oh, that's cool. Like, what does that mean? Because <laughs> then anyway, we did start heading out. Uh, yep. And so, the rest, as they say, I was 16. is history. I was 16. 16 and you were 18 when we started dating. Yep. And Bloodleaf says they're a power couple. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly not. Not that. <laughs> not that. Pottery Please is blow. A fun, but not super uh, lucrative. lucrative <laughs> yeah, we're closer to the starving artist for sure. Sunset says, 
You know the best relationships happen when you least expect it. That's how mine happened. Oh, curious how that happens, Sunset. That's the best. Wholesome. Please enter name says. That's a good story. Since high school. Wow. The guys always play it cool. You did it every time. Even when... Mm -hmm. yeah, every time you did anything you did it in a way that was like... Play it cool. I did. <laughs> play on, play it. Boom, boom, boom. Well, well, you say it's, our secret, it's a secret. Um, you're just being open and honest with each other. Don't go to bed angry. Like, air your grievances and. But do it before 9 o'clock. Yeah, air your grievances before, before 9 o'clock. Yeah. Nothing good happens when you're both sleepy. Mm -mm. Get it handled. Well, and two, <clears> I think also for me, getting married. Like viewing it as a promise, not just to you, but yes. for God too. Right. Yeah. Like, having I think I have, uh, what I she think said. I have God involved in it because sometimes the person themselves really is, they're they're gonna make you really mad, and you have to have something more yeah. than yourselves in order to viewing marriage as a it's a permanent thing. There is no alternative. There is no such thing as divorce. Like. Uh, we both of us had that viewpoint going into it, and but that wasn't going to be a, a. I mean that that makes you like you have to work together. You can't just you have to address the elephant in the room and and work through your problems and figure out how to live with each other. Because it doesn't matter like in any marriage you're marrying a completely different person. It's always going to take a minute to figure out how to live with someone else. Yeah, and I think you have to have something more than yourself. <clears throat> oh, data warning. I must not. I must not be connected to the Wi-Fi. Hang on. Ah, Can I connect to the Wi-Fi while I'm streaming? All right. Let's see if that works. Did it work? Yeah. I'm. I'm turning my Wi-Fi on. Let's see what happens. Let's see if it disconnect. I remember turning it off. We have unlimited data, but if we have unlimited data, why do we get warnings about it? Oh, I don't know. They'll probably throttle us. Some new thing. I don't understand. Uh, let's see. I'm behind now. Sunset says, I was recovering from an abusive relationship before I met my boyfriend. Well, I'm glad you got out of that abusive relationship. Because then her name says, oh, it's so awesome. I'm glad you got out of that and found your true love, Sunset. Indeed. Sunset says, he randomly messaged me and we talked for a while. He wanted to hang. I brushed it off. He asked me out, I said no, and he stuck around, and eventually I said yes. Well, aren't you glad you finally said yes? I'm glad he was persistent. Yeah. Hey, there you go. Perseverance. Uh, Bloodleaf says, yeah, I was just friends with my wife in high school for years without ever dating. Met her at 16 and 14. Aww. And years later, we connected as adults, and the rest was history. That's awesome. Uh, since it says, thank you, uh, just a random message off Facebook, and bam. The old Facebook. We started dating before the days of Facebook. I remember when Facebook came out, and it was just for college people. Uh, yeah, yeah, like I remember that too. You couldn't join it if you were in high school. Back in you, you dating yourself, Megs. I know it's okay. I'm proud <laughs> of my age. Oh man. Yeah, you had to have a university email address to uh -huh. join Facebook back yeah. in the day. I gotta make two plates now. I'm behind on my plates. I make one small one and one bigger one. Uh, please enter a name before 9 p.m. Got it. And so you guys just uh, chose to stick it out together. It's beautiful. Most people don't realize how important it is to choose to be together and meet in the middle. Yeah, I think today's in modern society, I'm going to get all philosophical. Uh oh. Yeah. And a little. I'm going to. Let my boomer personality shine forth, <laughs> but boomer. like, Isn't that the, like my old, the, old man. The my yeah, get my peepaw out get your on you guys. Out. Back in my day, <laughs> but so, people having the mentality that, like, like taking responsibility for actions, taking responsibility for your own actions is a very important thing. And that applies to a relationship too. Often we tend to like blame our problems on outside forces. 
and don't think about like how we can remedy the situations and that applies in modern marriage as well often one spouse will start to blame the other spouse for their own problems and that causes issues when the right way to look at it is like a place of self-sacrifice like when you're going into a marriage biblically that biblically uh, the Bible actually says husbands love your wives wives submit to your husbands but that doesn't mean like submit in a slave kind of way and the love kind of way means something even bigger than just the word love like it's the love that we think of like the rom-com shallow love is different from the all-encompassing self-sacrificing love that is described in that verse so to me that's what marriage means uh you know does that make sense Max? yeah oh no that's a bad word <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a mod. Soul breaker. Be kind. Alrighty. Let's see. Where was I? Since it says I wasn't even looking for anything, which is crazy. That's like the opposite of our conversation, right? <laughs> I take you out of it right there. Uh, don't say bad things in chat. You're gonna make it so that we have that, this is why we can't have nice things moment. And I have to go and learn how to get a chat bot and all that stuff. Yeah, see, Solberg, you're being being nice now. Don't say bad things. Uh, Marika says, hello. Hello, Marika, welcome to you. Hey, so I'm on for another channel if you uh, need some help, buddy. <laughs> I need to figure out the mod thing. I knew it was coming at some point. But as long as Soul Breaker starts to behave, we're good. Um, I've thought about setting up. I know I'm doing everything. No mods need. Thank you. Thank you, Soul Breaker. You're being good now. Be sweet, as my grandmother used to say. Um... Now you're all off track. I know. What you're was derailed. I even talking? I'm trying. You totally derailed me, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> lucky you did. Like, yeah, you consider yourself lucky. I didn't get up and, like, slap you with my uh, pottery bowl and get you all dirty. Uh, Forum Production says, hi. Hi, Forum Production. So welcome to you. We were just talking about marriage. That's where we were. And I got in my, my old man mode. Kids, kids these days are doing it wrong. <laughs> uh, all right. Now who's dating themselves? You're not that old, you know. I I would describe myself as a boomer in a millennial's body, honestly. You're I drive. Old. I drive like an old man. You do. It's sometimes a little frustrating. <clears throat> Marika says, "How old are you?" No, no, you have to have... How old do you guys <laughs> think I am? <clears throat> Lucky you ain't got slapped with a pottery bowl, indeed. I splashed myself in the eye with pottery earlier today. It wasn't pleasant. Sunset says, How long were you guys together before you proposed? It's about two years. Yeah, about two years. Marika guessed 40, and you are exactly correct. Forum Production guessed 55. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you I got carded at the gas station like three or four months ago, and she thought I was 23. Thank you very much. Bloodleaf says, you look around 30 like, uh, like me, but you said 40 before. Yeah, you already knew. Well, if you're a boomer, but I mean you look 30. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Don't call yourself a boomer. That's our I have generation. I have the heart of a boomer. You have the heart of whatever came before a boomer. What was that? What were the that? silent generation? I don't know. You have the you have the heart of the nineteen fifties man, I think. <laughs> no, well, that's a boomer. Oh, that's not, is it? Oh, well, so. I'm I, not sure. I think if you're born, yeah, if you're born around the forties, forty to forty-five, World War II yeah, era. Yeah. 
Forum says, just kidding. Uh, Bloodleaf says, my dad and I are both a millennial. Really? When does the millennial start? So your, your dad was really young. My mom and her dad are both boomers. My mom is like the youngest boomer. And her know. dad is one of the oldest. I don't know when all the cutoffs are for all of these different things. What now, let's see, Gen Z is coming up right now. I think that our daughter is Gen Z and our son is Gen Alpha. Gen Alpha? What, what, are, what are they known for? Well, Gen Alpha is not really known for anything yet, <clears throat> but Gen Z is, um, well, I mean, it's just the, <laughs> the young their, people right now, the people that are on their phones all the time. On their phones all the time, although she's not. So. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, please enter her name says 1946 to 64 is Boomer. Oh man, I'm running out of table space. Oh, uh, okay. Dang it. I'm going to have to. Okay. What have you done, Chad? Do you need to move something for you? No. Uh, all right. I got to move some stuff around real quick. And. Oh, I need to put Bert. Bird on the table. Come on, be just a minute. <laughs> 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 In return. <sighs> Sorry, soul breaker. I had to put you in timeout for saying bad things. Shame. For shame. Astronaut Bert. <laughs> All right, what have I missed? He's saying, wee, Bert's gonna get dizzy. Oh, I need to scroll up. I missed some stuff. Uh, please enter name, the way it spins. Supermans. They see me rolling. They hating. Bert is really dirty. He's riding dirty. Uh, I feel after having too much to drink. Bert is going to bleh. astronaut Bert Clanthus says, and Bloodleaf Bert stream goes wild. Indeed, hope oh, catching up. Abd says, do like birds. I don't know what that means. Would you rather Bert come back? Is that what you're trying to say? All right. Now we need. Let me make sure I got enough plates. 
One, two. Three, four. Yeah, I need one more plate. And then after that, we're on to something else. I didn't? No. Huh. I actually feel a little bit better. Less less sniffly now. Oh, I forgot to pull back up the uh Hold on guys. I did just sniffle though. Yeah, but sniffling's not the same as throat clearing. There. Yeah, cool. So this thing looks like I just saw on my um when I was pulling the Would You Rather questions back up, we already had 772 views on this stream. Seems like things are going better, which is awesome. YouTube project's going well. Um, what time is it? 1.18? Man, I, I gotta wash this apron again. It's so dirty. It's filthy. Filthy, filthy balances. But, uh... Yeah, the streams are going well. That is interesting, Abd. 109, you say. All right, would you rather question? Would you rather have a tail that wags when you're happy or ears that flop when you're sad? Oh, the tail all the way. I like people to know when I'm happy. I don't like people knowing when I'm sad. You'd be pretty cute with a tail. That's weird. That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I think I'd rather have a tail as well. What about you guys? <clears throat> Definitely tail for me. Would you rather always feel like someone is following you or never be alone for the rest of your life? Well, I, never be alone, right? I mean, especially if you get to choose who you're never alone with. Marika says, show us your girlfriend, please. <laughs> it's not my girlfriend, it's my wife. And if you look on my channel, she's in some other videos. <laughs> I'm not hiding her or anything. Uh, I, I her name her voice. Yeah, she's going to be just the disembodied voice. Okay. I think that is all the plates we need now. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Indeed. We're done. Yes. That now it's just a picture of a bunch of me making a bunch of pottery. Oh, so you just removed me. I did. I'm no longer part of the picture. I see how it is. Along with the lots of views, the trolls have come out to play today. Are you getting more trolls? I'm getting more trolls today. You're going to have to get someone to kind of moderate that. I know. You just want people to play nice. Is someone not playing nice now? Yeah. Hey, click. There's little dots you can click by his name and you can just hit hide user. By the name. Yeah. Yeah, the three little dots over on the right side. Oh, yeah. Click there and hit hide user on this channel yeah see you buddy hey. hope you stick around and watch more <clears throat> I don't like banning people I think that worked did that work yes it did but you can't spam you can't spam chat man next question would you rather only be able to use utensils made of Legos or have your shoes always be made of Legos. Oh, definitely. 
Lego yeah, but you wouldn't be like stepping on one Lego. It would be like actual shoes. I still say you can't because I don't want Legos anywhere near my face. But your utensils would fall apart. But then Not again, your shoes might fall apart. Not if you're a master builder, they wouldn't. Yeah. Have you guys seen the Lego Master Builder show? That's, That's a cool, cool show. show. I like that show. All right, what are we making now? I'm going to need some clay here in just a minute. We watched that with the kids. The kids got really inspired by that Lego show. But now they're watching, is it cake? Is it cake? And that's a pretty good Yeah, is it cake's show. pretty good too. That's it's on Netflix. Um, would recommend, is it cake? It is pretty impressive, the cakes that they can make. Although the Lego creations were pretty Those impressive. Those were really cool, too. Those were really cool. And that was like, I think that was one summer we watched it, maybe. And you remember mm -hmm. how much Legos the kids built? Oh, yeah, the kids were building the Legos like crazy when we were watching you know, that. If we were real proper Lego people, we would not say Legos. Because the, the plural of Lego is Lego. There's no S. Lego people get show. real picky about what you call their Legos. Yeah, I learned that on that show. Like if you're a true see what I did there. Rickster, yeah. you know it. Um, I followed a guy on Twitch and he used to hang out in my stream, but he, he streamed building with Lego. And I learned you can't call Lego blocks. You call them bricks. Yeah, they're bricks. Oh, yeah. yeah. You cannot call them blocks. No. They're not blocks. Lego's pretty cool. The Lego video games are pretty cool too. The Lego Batman is the best Batman movie. Oh yeah, and the Lego movies are great. Oh man, all so of funny. them. All of them are great. That Lego Batman is the best. Yeah. It is so funny. I, I think I said that on the last stream. Lego Batman was the best of the well, Lego movies. But Lego Ninjago so is really good too. Funny. I mean, it's just so funny. We're gonna make some mugs with these last few pieces, and then I'll end the stream. I'll make something big. You guys think about. Ooh. Uh, Bloodleaf asks, "Have you ever hurt yourself making pottery?" You get repetitive strain. Um. Yeah, I have some repetitive strain type stuff. Like I got some tennis elbow. I think it's tennis elbow. If it's on this side, it's kind of sore. Um, they got a spot in my arm that kind of hurts if I jog for a long period of time. It's kind of like just, just from repetitive strain. I've had uh, wrist issues on this side, but it's a lot better. I changed the way I throw, so. Um, I've tripped over lots of things. Tripped over Fall. things I've in the studio, yeah. Falling down things um, I very often get cuts on my hands from unloading the glaze kiln because the glaze is like super sharp um, and every now and then you'll have a little shard that's left on the shelf and I don't see it and I'll grab it before I see it and it's like uh, I'll feel it like go in and like oh crap and they're like super duper sharp so uh, anything sharp in clay when throwing ever um, I've had like I've had clay have like a little grit or something in it, but never found anything sharp in it, thankfully. That would be bad. Unlike like, the, don't uh, go to the clay factory and drop in a razor blade or something. The, um, <laughs> You're going to give me some kind of phobia now, man. I'm not going to be able to touch my clay. Unlike the swamp that our sister-in-law ate that one time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My sister-in-law bit into some slaw, cabbage slaw, and there was a shard of metal in it. It was like a circular, sharp, rusty piece of metal. Yeah. I don't know what it came from. Yeah. Uh, next question. Would you rather live in a house where the walls were always wet or the floors were always sticky? Oh, wet walls. You can avoid the walls easily because you have to walk on the floor. Right? Yeah, I, I, I agree. What if the, the wet walls were moldy? Now then the floor is sticky because I hate mold. Uh-uh. Moldy walls, but that's not what it said. It said wet. So yeah, <sighs> blood leaf walls. says wet walls. And what are the wet walls? I don't want to see more. I agree. I feel like that one's pretty easy. Uh, would you rather have a nose like a toucan or ears like a bat? Ears like a bat. 
Well, you could probably cover your ears with some kind of hairstyle or a hat. He ears like a bat. Bats don't even have big ears. Yeah, you'd have little tiny, teeny tiny pointy ears. Pointy ears. Just fill in your ears then, because that's so easy to cover. Now, if they look like bat wings, then no. But that's not what they said. Uh, would you rather sweat slime or burp bubbles? Burp bubbles. Clanthus says that, that that's just the worst scenario. I don't know which one you mean, Clanthus. Uh, you look cool with bad ears. I mean, the Batman. He's got bad ears. See, when you first said bat ears, I was thinking like it would look, your ears would look like bat wings, which would hurt <laughs> high. When they're, uh, uh, Beetlejuice on Beetlejuice. Doesn't he have like little one of the forms he turns into? He's got little bat ears that come out of the side of his head. Oh, I don't know. He'd look like that. Movie, oh, they're put, they're coming out with a new Beetlejuice what? movie. Who's gonna be Beetlejuice? Um, Michael Keaton, I think. Oh, he's, gonna him again? he's gonna reprise his role. I think they got a lot of the old cast to come back. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to look into this. I didn't know that was happening. I like Beetlejuice. <laughs> but you know, a lot of the reboots. I mean, okay, they're not Top all Gun. great. Top Gun reboot was really good. The Top Gun reboot was good. The newest Ghostbusters uh, Afterlife, I thought it was good. It was certainly way better than the one that they put out a few years earlier with the all female cast. That one was just not well done at all. Uh, and Bloodleaf says they're gonna ruin that. I hope not. But yeah, I don't probably. know. They probably, probably will. Probably. I think we all have. We we've all seen the bad reboots. Uh, I wish they would have left Star Wars alone. Oh, that's um, character. The Batman reboots have been good. Yeah, Christopher Nolan, Batman, that was good. Uh, you got Michael Keaton. Did you have Val Kilmer Batman one time? Yeah, those weren't that great. The uh, Michael Keaton ones were good, and then there were the two. There was Val Kilmer, and there was um, oh, George Clooney. George Clooney, yeah. <clears throat> uh-huh. Bloodleaf says, I refuse to watch the new Star Wars movies. I've only seen the good ones. Good. You should. You should refuse. Um, I thought... I watched the first of the le the last trilogy and I was like, yeah, this this could be all right. And uh, I came out of the theater thinking, okay, that's good because I felt like they kind of re-rolled the formula from the first movie. Uh, but the second and third, no. But to me, those were better than those intermediary ones, like Phantom. And the first one, they they killed Han Solo. Like, I mean, yeah, that was the worst part of the, I was really the first one. About that. I was pretty offended. Yeah, I was. Because he was my favorite. <clears throat> I always liked him better than Luke Skywalker. Way better. He was like the he was like the space pirate, and Luke was like the space wanderer. But as far as uh, the Batman, I th I thought the newest, the Pattinson Batman. I thought he was good. Who is, is Batman? Robert Pattinson? No. Yeah. No. I I had trepidation about it at first. Batman. No, he's the one before. Oh. There have been a lot of Batmans. And then you've got Christian Bale. Christian Batman. Bale, yeah. I don't like the Robert Pattinson one because it was like almost like a horror movie. Like it was very macabre. It was a lot right? darker. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I, I couldn't watch it. I was like, no. And the Joker oh. movie with uh, Joaquin Phoenix. It was really dark. I didn't see that one. But I don't. Joaquin Phoenix kind of weird to me. I, I don't know. Like, kind of weird me out. Well, he would weird you out in this movie. Alrighty. I got three pieces of clay left. I think let's make something big and then windy windy wind it down. Uh, I have a long form video coming here in about 30 minutes. You guys check that out. I'm actually making something out of the ordinary in that one. Also, Bert is hiding in two different places. In this video and they are two different very challenging places uh, I'm trying to get it I'm trying to like hit the line where 
so like in one of my short videos, nobody's found him yet. It's very difficult. Um, but I'm trying to make this one difficult, but not impossible. I think that the, the other one may be impossible. You really need to get your Burt Point leaderboard going. Yeah. The, the prize can be a Burt spin. Send the, send the bird off. So you your prize, if you get 10 points, you get a Burt spin? Yeah, but you gotta have prizes for the spin. You gotta have things you gotta land on. So you get a Burt spin. <laughs> but I can kind of guess where things are gonna stop. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Then I'll do it, because I have no clue. Yeah, Megan has no idea. Okay, Burt spin. Uh, we'll have to figure, we'll get on that. Uh, it looks good too visually, but I can't. Yeah, I didn't have anything. There were cool scenes in the new Star Wars movies. Um, like there's one on the planet that's got the white surface and then the red and they're flying the, uh, the X-Wings like real low over the ground. Was the X-Wings? No, it may have been like some kind of speeders, that scene. Uh, some of those scenes are awesome and then they're having a battle over a lake uh, on a planet. It was really cool. Uh... But if get, I guess the wrong spot, so I lost fair and square. But nobody's found him yet. But you know, you know where he is. I had to. I gave you the answer. Maybe someone will find him. But both of these, both of the spots coming in the next video, in the next video that I made today, are very difficult. Uh, I think they're doable, but difficult. Uh, you should see if I can find him. I and find as a hint to you guys. If you pay attention to uh, a transition, like I go from like doing one thing on the pottery wheel to doing on another the thing, wheel? huh? Pottery wheel. Is that what it's I said? Like you just said? The potter I will. If you if you pay attention to the transition from when I'm like throwing the things to putting the things together, you might see him move. Oh, 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 oh. Dun, dun, dun. That's the hint. <clears throat> All right. What should I make, Megs? Oh, putting me on the spot. What should I make, Chat? Oh, the candle, the tall candlestick. A tall candlestick? Yeah, for like a decorative, it would look like a bed knob almost, but flat on top. You know, decorative candle pillar. What would you call that? A decorative candlestick? Candle holder? I have more clay than I'll need for that kind of thing. More clay? No, that's going to be pretty tall, pretty big. So I, I'm not sure what you're asking for. Bloodleaf says candlestick from earlier. Yeah, see? Draw me a picture. Wait, I can't draw a picture. My hands are dirty. You know what a candlestick looks like? I'm going to draw a picture in the air, okay? <laughs> Max is drawing me a picture in there. Pretend it's circular, okay? And it's like you got the pillar candle, the pillar candle on top is flat, flat. So oh, it's pillar. a flat top. It's flat top, and then the the bottom of it is just a, a pillar of decoration that the candle goes on. Okay, so it's not hollow. No, it's just it, like it, a. It, oh it man. Be. And then the bottom of it would be bigger, so it would be stable to stand on. Okay. Candlestick. I have never in my career attempted to make a candlestick. We'll do it now. And, but this is for one of those fat... The pillar candles. Pillar yeah. candles. Yeah. Okay. I expect perfection. Oh, I don't know. I expect it to be adequate. <laughs> I'm not even going to open it up. Oh, this is going to be weird. Should I make it upside down? You tell me you're the master potter. I feel like I should make it upside down. Well, it's got to be level on top and bottom. And the bottom... Well, the bottom know, could be opened. I could yeah, open it like I did the open. cake stand. The bottom would need to be open or else it would be too thick. <clears throat> I have faith. You haven't failed yet. Oh, I've failed many times. The whole thing could be open. The whole thing except for the top could be open. Like, you could basically throw a vase that goes like this. That goes like... In and then decorative and then back out. I think so I'm gonna. Top, I'm gonna like, make it upside down. Uh, not this th stream though. Not yet. Have I, have I thrown down a challenge? Is just too hard for you, Chad? Never. 
All right, so we're gonna make it upside down. Inside out? Are you gonna it inside out? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make it upside down and inside out. And Backwards. I'm gonna leave it. I think I'm gonna leave it pretty thick down here and then when I flip it over later, I'll probably trim into it a bit and cut like a little ridge there. Mind work. And I'll probably need to go ahead and open this and then I'll do the stand last. I think that makes more makes more sense. Because if I waited until it was real narrow here, it would be very weeby wobbly. So this will be the bottom. Curve it out wide. Hopefully just about as wide as the top part. <sighs> Clean up the scissors. I can't imagine it. Hey, I'm just winging it. I don't know. All right, so now we do the middle. Yeah, we'll try not to get too weeby wobbly with it. Be able to put some beads in it. And it can't be like super thick either or it'll never ever dry. Notice it gets still right there. It's squeezing a little too hard. I'm gonna have to go real easy on this, or I will just squeeze it. I'll break it. It'll break at this joint right here if I don't go easy on it. <laughs> All right. I may have to re-throw that up there because I let, let it get thin when I was holding it. Thanks, this may be too difficult for me right now. Oh, oh, oh. I may have to like do some That's learning because I think it's as I've made it here, it's too thick. It's going to be too thick. It'd have to dry for forever. Oh, but it's looking close to what I was talking about though. Can you put a hole in it? Go down, could put a rod down in it. But, because see, I've already pulled it apart down here at the bottom. All right, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take it back down. Take that off. Because I think I had too much clay to begin with. And we're gonna fix that. And we're gonna take another crack at it. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it down hollow and we'll do the beads from the inside and that way it can be a little bit thicker if that makes sense I like these challenges. Yeah, keeps it If you used less, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I needed less clay for that, I think. 
to do it to do it that way. Hey, I need Megs to read chat. Hey, Jessica. I can narrate what you're doing. Actually, that might be kind of entertaining. Do it. Because I don't know what you're doing. I'm Jim Jam in the Flamistan right now. Well, that's what I was going to say, but I wasn't sure. I'm shooping the whoop. Jessica says, hi, you got here just in time to watch me challenge myself for the final throw of the day. I'm making a candlestick and I'll flip it over. I'll go ahead and cut this one off so you guys can see it. I think I can do that without messing it up. But honestly, I think I could take another crack at this and do a better job. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have time to practice this between streams. There. There. I wonder if I can flip it over without messing it up. Let us see. We will find out presently. Uh, we'll go ahead. Yeah. What if it's going to slump? I think it might slump. <laughs> it's slumped. It slumped. I was trying to get it flipped over so people could see it. Stuck. I thought it would hold. It did not. I was gonna keep it anyway. It's beautiful. <laughs> Do you spit your tea on my computer? Oh, but I wanted to put bird on it to end the stream. There. Perfection. It really did. I really <clears> did. It, did. it still looks nice with her. Yeah, there was an, I wasn't going to keep that one. Uh, I could 100% do better. And maybe on next stream, I'll, I'll do another one. I need to lock this down. There. So I'm what, three for four? Three for four on my record for the day? I'm gonna take another. One Say what? One tea for you. Yeah, and Meg's, I made Meg's spew tea on the laptop. <laughs> Maybe we'll be back next time. Her laptop's still working. But you guys, I really appreciate you hanging out. This was a very fun and productive stream. Actually today, hit a milestone. We got our first trolls in chat. I'm gonna have to figure out the mod situation here for the next one. Um, I need to look at uh, chat, the chatbot thing. I've been meaning to do that. Uh, let's see, practice isn't permanent. Yep. I'm gonna have to um, have to keep working on the old um, candlesticks. But you guys, thank you so much for hanging out, and I will be back on. Friday about the same time. I think the stream has been working out pretty good. Just doing doing them at 12 or 12 30 So I'll probably start about 12 on Friday again and uh, See my long-form video is coming out in 10 minutes Bird is hiding in two spots and then shortly after that I'll also have a short Bert will not be in the short today So don't look for him. He won't be in the short because uh, 
I actually just repurposing the long form video. I was lazy today. But um, I hope you guys have fantastic afternoons and evenings. Appreciate you being here, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Um, if you're watching this after the fact, please subscribe. Come hang out with us live. And uh, to all you new folks that came in and hung out, I appreciate you guys. <clears throat> Bloodleaf says, see you again soon. I'll be looking for Bert. He's there. This, this video that's coming out here in 10 minutes, he's in some hard spots. Both spots are, are difficult. And I'm not giving any hints except for he's in two spots and you did get a hint. and do the and pay attention in the transition because you know he'll be there he'll be gone in one second and then he'll be there that may be a way that you'll be able to find him so I'm, I'm curious if you guys will anyways you guys have fantastically phenomenal afternoons and evenings and I'll see you Friday bye 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 bye, bye.